Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm gonna try for you here in camera for the first time the melted, the Too Faced uh, Melted uh, Liquid Lips that I got myself as you have probably seen on the other video for Christmas this year and yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in we have four lip shades to try so yeah, I will start with the Melted Chocolate one which is this one, they were selling the best seller shades so this is from the chocolate collection, this is the best seller and it is chocolate honey as you can see this is new chocolatey shade, obviously but yeah, there's like this sponge tip but I thought this was softer and this is firm I realized this has a um, plastic uh, tip uh, below this felt uh, top thing and it has like f some little holes that they are poked in this and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and squish it out and as you can see there's the product coming out there's a good amount of product I think that with that so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my lips So here is the first shade, this is Chocolate Honey. I have to say right out the bat that this smells straight up like chocolate and I love this little detail that they add. I have other chocolate products, you know, from the Too Faced range. And yeah, this has this vanilla-y, chocolatey scent and it's really warm and rich and whatnot. But aside from the scent, I have to say that, yeah, this is a beautiful nude shade. Uh, I went a little bit out the lines in here. It's different than the applicator, of course, because uh, the, this is a built-in applicator. It's not like the one applicator, doe foot one and whatnot. So yeah, it's not as easier than the doe foot applicators to apply, at least to me. But it is a very beautiful wearable color. On the brownish side, like this winter is really on trend and whatnot, but it's not overpowering. It's not like a dark brown or a, I don't know, let's just say a Lolita from Kat Von D or wherever. This is really wearable. I think you can really pull this off with any look and whatnot. I, I just went ahead and applied some uh, warm brown neutral mascara and it's re looking really beautiful. I have nothing to say about it. Let's just kiss the tissue paper. Okay. This is not long lasting, <laughs> it, it wears off. I figure it's it's gonna have a lasting, an average lasting power. It doesn't claim to be long lasting or anything. It's just like a fight long wear. Oh, sorry. It says liqui liquefied long wear lipstick. Well, then right at the bat, I have to say, this doesn't feel as drying as the uh, Kat Von D ones. But I'm just gonna go ahead and kiss my hand. This doesn't happen. <laughs> Look, here's my lips. This doesn't happen with the Kat Von D ones. They don't transfer one single bit, and this transfers. So, yeah, maybe it's not as long wearing as they claim. But yeah. Okay, okay, you can see that. This is the first impressions. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, try another shade. So next shade of the bunch, we're going from browns to bright reds, I'll, I'll go in order. I'm gonna go ahead and take this mauve shade in here and we'll see if it's long wearing. <laughs> this is Chihuahua and I would dare to say this is a mauve shade. I don't know, how would you describe it other than mauve? This is not pink. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. See, lipsticks are trickier because they don't look the same on everyone because it, everyone we have our own complexion and some of us have cool tones, some of us have warm tones so it applies and wears differently on everybody even depending on the color of your lips my lips don't happen to be very pigmented on their own but if you have very pigmented lips then it changes the color as well so what not let me just check myself in the mirror Well, I would say that to my lips, 
again to my lips. Uh, Chihuahua is mm, the color that I would describe as my lips but better. I really like this color, I'm really digging this. I think this is a color that I can really pull off with the analog as well. I'm happy with this, you know, because I really like statement lipsticks, you know, I like I got this very deep, you know, uh, almost black mo uh, um, purple shade and whatnot, and I have this uh, Poe from Kat Von D, which is this deep blue shade, and I really love them. But you know, on the daily, to pull out on a small town such as the one that I'm currently living, this is a safe uh, color, and this is really wearable. I would say this is a beautiful color to wear at the office, or you know, if you're working at, at a hospital or, or some mm, jobs that you can, you have to tone down your makeup. This is. Uh, this Chihuahua shade is a really a go-to. So yeah. Next up we have Fig, which also is a long wear liquify lipstick. It's melted one. And Fig, I would describe this as a. Hmm. Did I say this was mauve? Well, this is a mauvey pink, almost turning, almost going into lilac shade. And this is more pink with bluish undertones from the. Package. I have many conclusions from the package. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, squish it up for the first time in front of camera and apply it on my lips. Hope for the best. Okay, from what I'm seeing here, we're moving away from the neutral tones. We're going into the um, fuchsia ease shades. It's a toned down fuchsia, I would describe it as. It's thick. Uh, on my lips, it looks like a toned down fuchsia, you know, a really wearable fuchsia, fuchsia nonetheless. I think I, I really like this kind of uh, shades on my lip as well. It is wearable, it's, it's not really bam in your face fuchsia, but it's still. I would describe it as a fuchsia. I don't know how about you guys, how do you feel? It sure doesn't match with this color eyeshadow at all. Uh, but yeah, it has this beautiful finish again. It's not matte, they don't claim to be matte. So there's that. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this shade. And yeah. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you this melted matte liquefied lipstick and this is Lady Balls and this is a true true red as you can see this is a red with warm undertones it's not the red with blue undertones cool undertones so yeah without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead you know apply this applies with a doe foot applicator for some reason I always thought this was a squishy tube you know but it's not it's not it's clear plastic and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead Okay, you're gonna have to excuse the rough application of this lipstick. I'm, I'm applying it with the mirror really far away from here and whatnot. So yeah, this is how it looks lady balls on me. I have to say that it's not as uh, vibrant as I figured it would be from the tubes, which is good. It's a little bit more toned down, more wearable. It's a beautiful red. I think it's really beautiful and easy to pull off on this season. It's really Christmassy and whatnot. But here, you see, this red has no blue undertones. And when I smile, it makes my teeth look yellow, as if I had painted with a yellow highlighter of some sort. And I am using white strips, and my teeth are pretty white, but this is doing no favor at all to my teeth, but yeah, other than that, this is why I don't like the orangey tones, the warm reds, but if I keep my mouth, <laughs> if I don't smile like that, if I keep my mouth shut, this is pretty cool, it's pretty wearable, it's wearable red, I'm seeing as I'm talking, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it's not like I'm so self-centered, I'm seeing how's it drying, it's drying matte, it, it, it applied with a little bit of sheen, now it's drying matte. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kiss my hand, see if it transfers. Boom! There you go! Here we go! 
this is not like the melted matte, the long lasting like when I kiss my hand with this chocolate honey one that it transferred all over. I kiss my hand hard, if you want to say it this way, and it barely transferred a thing. So yeah, uh, Stephanie and Tracy, 11th gorgeous girls, they were right. Like uh, Stephanie is always using this melted matte and she was the one that was like, hmm, she always is wearing the melted matte and whatever. And I was like, well, is it really comparable to the Kat Von D? Well, yes, it is. Yes, it is. We'll have to see the word time, but yes, it is. It's not transferring, it's matte. I'm really happy with this. This is gonna be long wearing, so I'm really happy with this. Uh, long lasting wise, maybe this color wouldn't be the color that I would pull up because it doesn't have cool undertones and I really like my smile to be vibrant white, you know, the teeth. But yeah, overall I have, I am pretty content with this collection that the Too Faced put together for this Christmas season with this Lady Balls, Chihuahua, Fig, and chocolate honey. Right off the bat, I can uh, for sure tell you that I will be pulling off the shades uh, a lot. They are easy to carry on your bag and whatnot. They're really, you know, you can wear them on the clutch even, you know, they're small size, tester size almost, so yeah. The ones that I can see myself pulling out the most are Chihuahua, which it's my lips by bet which is my lips but better and uh, interestingly enough lady balls because I really wear red lips quite often and yeah the ones that I don't see myself wearing as much that doesn't mean I'm not gonna wear them at all that means that it's not like a no-brainer for me like I have to be creating a look to be pulling off the shades it's fake because I think this is a shade that I would really pull up more in the summertime. I, I don't wear um, this kind of uh, pink shades and whatnot as often in the winter time. And chocolate honey, because I happen to have, I happen to be having like a sort of romance of some sort with an ex liquid suede in soft spoken. And you know, ever since I got that one, I forgot about uh, about the Double Dare or Lolita from Kat Von D or any liquid lips that I got. And I, I, I'm pulling off soft spoken 24 seven when I'm thinking of a brownish, um, shade that's now in trend and whatnot so yeah this chocolate honey is pretty cool too maybe i will carry it on my bag but you know i have such a strong bond with so soft spoken that it is hard for me to see myself using other hues of the same color range but yeah i for sure will give this a try i'm glad these are wearable colors that you can obviously pull off so they put a set together that even though it's not all vibrant all out there you know with colors that are really trendy and whatnot these are colors that are going to be in trend forever so i think if you didn't get it for yourself as i did it's a pretty safe gift to have been given to someone who is who has never tried the melted liquid lipsticks and whatnot because it's a good quality product these are beautiful shades and these are shades that i think they will suit pretty much everyone and they are safe to give because they are colors that they are not statement pieces you know they are colors that are easy to pull off so there's that i hope you guys enjoyed this try on kind of uh, thing that I did today and if you did please make sure to give it a good old thumbs up don't forget to click the link subscribe button down below if you haven't already and leave a comment let me know what you're thinking see you in the next one bye